So hello and welcome friends to our channel Intromag and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts. So guys, we have started a new series regarding the fixture designs, what are the different principles and then the basics of fixturing. So today we will be discussing about the locating devices which plays an important role in fixture designing. So without wasting time, let's get started. So before going into the locating, first we will see some basics. Now here you could see a part in the space. Now let's consider that this is the object in the space. Now how many degrees of freedom this part will have? Now when I say degree of freedom, that means in how many different directions this part can be moved, right? Now here we could see we have three different axes in space like we have x axis then we have y axis and then we have z axis right so we will be having some trans translational motion along the axis and then we will be having some rotational uh, motion right then if we consider x axis we have positive x axis and then we have negative x axis let's start counting the directions like first will be positive x translational motion then we will be having second motion will be in minus x direction then we will be having the translational motion along y axis in positive direction three then four we will be having the negative y then sixth then we will be having fifth in positive z direction and we will be having 6th in negative z direction right then we will be having the rotational motion the clockwise and then the anti-clockwise right so we can see 7 and 8 7 will be like anti-clockwise and 8 will be clockwise along x axis and similarly we will be having 9 and 10 along y axis and 11 and 12 along z axis so you could see that a part in a space has 12 degrees of freedom right so let's see how so these are all the degrees of freedom right so the part is having total degrees of freedom for a 3d part in space will be 12 right now let's see what is the 3 to 1 principle which is a important principle in case of locating a part Right, so the 3 to 1 principle states that the 6 locators are sufficient to restrict the required degree of freedom of any workpiece. That means in this motion is restricted using clamps and locators. A 3 pin base can restrict 5 motions and 6 pins can restrict the 9 motions. Right, now let's understand this with the help of example. Right, now let's see what we have over here. Now you could see we have a part over here or this is our part and we can see this is from the front view this is the top and this is the side view. So what it indicates that 3 to 1 that means we have 3 2 and 1 total we have 6 pins if we use 6 locating pins then we can restrict 9 motions out of 12 motions. So this is the 3 to 1 principle which states that if we use like 6 locating pins then we can restrict 9 motions out of 12 motions. Now let's see how. So we will be using like 3 pins locating pins on this surface then we have two pins on this surface and then we have another one on this surface these three surfaces will be mutually perpendicular to each other you could see over here so if we use like this six pins we can restrict the nine motions and the remaining motions we can restrict with the help of some clamping devices so this is how we can locate the part right so this is the basic principle so you have to keep in mind while uh, the locating the fixture right 
so let's see what are the types of the devices so what are the locating devices so locating devices are the components that are used to quickly and easily position the workpiece and restrict the uh, with respect to the operator that means the orientation of the part plays an important role whenever you consider any machine the part should be placed in a particular orientation so with the help of the locating pins we can ensure that the part is getting loaded uh, in a particular position so let's see what are the forms of location so here first we will see that the plane locator that means we could see here we have the workpiece and simply I'm putting a L shape piece over here to butt the workpiece so that it can restrict its motions right so this is the plane locator when we have say plane surfaces you can just use uh, such kind of uh, say plates or uh, brackets to restrict the motion of the part now second what we have we have concentric locator so you could see here the part is like hollow it is having some holes so what we can do we can insert a pin inside the hole which will restrict its motion so that is the concentric locator and then we have radial locator so you could see over here the locators are touching the job radially right so you can place this locator according to the position of job how you want to restrict the job right so again you have to do some engineering uh, to decide the positions of these locators and it again depend on the drawings the 2d drawings plays important role over here because they will indicate that which surfaces are like machined because generally we prefer the machined surfaces for locating because they give the precise location right so let's move how now how we can select these locators can we get these locating pins directly yes we have misumi which is a uh, like brand and we can have a lot of options over here you could see different kind of uh, pins over here now let's check uh, we have some adjusting screws then uh, locating guide components over here right so locating pins and bushings and so many other things so let's see first guide components so in guide components we can have rough guide pins then blocks locating blocks the locators rough guides and then what we have guide pins workpiece guides so let's check out some things over here so here we are now with the locators horizontally inclined two double holes with one through hole now we will get this directly so we can use these parts like we have seen the plane locators right then we have locators which are now vertically inclined and so many other options are available over here so according to the part we can select uh, these part we can configure these parts right you can see the dimensions over here so according to your requirement you can select the part or we can just manufacture these parts by our own if you don't want to order but these parts are also readily available right if you want to do some standardization then you can just directly buy you can download the CAD over here right so there are so many options available and let's see what else we have let's check out uh, the work uh, the v blocks then we have v block standard uh, in order to have some round pieces you can just place the round pieces over here the v blocks are widely used for uh, that purpose and we have different designs available here for the v blocks right and we have L-shaped guides just we have seen so these are readily available in different materials so depending on the part material you can use the guides we have straight guides also and they can be of MS or Delray in some soft material so that it cannot harm the uh, part so that 
thing also you have to consider right then let's see what else we have we will see some uh, say locating pins now and again we have height adjusting pins then we have jig bushings locating pins or here locating pins for welding or here these are some different kinds so according to application you have to choose now let's see some locating pins and again you could see in locating means we have large head small head then a straight then shouldered screw mount so so many different options are available and according to your application space availability you can choose we have a different uh, filters also here so you can just apply the filter and you can read the description large in head then what we have is so many options we have so you can just read their descriptions you can just configure them and you can make a product code and you can buy them right so let's do some filter let's select a round and then we have diamond shape also so we'll go for round and uh, let's configure the large head locating pins right so here now you you could see the dimensions the angle the entry chamfer angle that other tolerances now here you could see the tolerance of the pin that plays an important role because according to the whole size you should select these tolerances and size of the pins because these locating pins are for precise location they allow you to locate the part precisely right so you should check out all these things and dimensions and the tolerances and according to that you should select your locating pin so this catalog will help you a lot you should carefully read this catalog and according to that you should make your product code and then you should order the part right so so this is it and this is all about the locating pins and locating guides and all other things and you could uh, just see the site right you can check out what other things are available what other options are available and right so let's check out some other things over here right so like misumi you have jargons and they also offer you different work holding and locating components here also you can see a lot of different options available so these are different makes so you can go for different makes according to your requirement according to the lead time according to the cost so you have to consider these parameters also while designing a fixture right so you will again having different options available in the jargons also and you can just go over there now let's see some pins and here we have some uh, pin liners also available locating pin liners that will right so this is about uh, the jargons and these are all about the locating pins and i hope you got an idea about the locating pins and uh, how those are used and how we can select uh, these different kind of pins so thank you for your patient listening guys and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then stay home stay happy thank you